Sports with Zach Martin. I was doing a little bit of a dance at home this morning when I realized it was Lone Star Conference football media days. No, you guys aren't going to be able to see those moves, but we were able to hear from both West Texas A&M and Eastern New Mexico as we count down to week one. For the Buffs, you know what is going to be key for the success this season on offense. Running back Duke, Booby Carter, and the rest of the backs need to stay healthy this year. That in a solid defensive line featuring senior leader Jared Johnson should propel the Buffs past six place finish that they are predicted for. As far as us being seniors, I mean, we can't ask for any anything more because we get a brand new stadium, getting new helmets and stuff. I mean, we going out like the right way, the best way possible. So, I mean, it's like we can't ask for any anymore. People say you got to enjoy your job. I love getting up at 4.30 in the morning and going to meetings and staying to, and getting three hours of sleep. And, and I really love home. these players and what uh, what we're doing. But it's so compact that it's just going to feel like home when we step on the field, you know. I, I think that every team in here is going to appreciate it's probably the nicest visiting locker room that you will walk into, and I'm a little upset about that. I wanted it small and cramped and hot, but it's uh, – no, it is a – it is a work. It is very impressive. Every seat is like you're right there on there. As for the Eastern New Mexico Greyhounds, they finished last season with a five and six record, a four game fall from their 2017 team. One running back for the Greyhounds that shined for them last season was Paul Terry, who had more than a thousand yards from scrimmage, including more than 130 rushing yards against WT last year. Some of you at home might be like, hey, I've heard that before. I know Paul Terry. Well, the Greyhound star went to high school at Randall High. Here he is on what he can expect from the Greyhounds this year. For, uh, his first year, we went 8-2, and that was a big year for us. And then uh, we kind of had our sour taste in our mouth last year. I'm excited about the leadership on this team. These guys have played a lot of football. We were a young team last year which is always exciting because now you should be veterans. And Chris Lee has all the trust in me and I have all the belief in, all, in our staff. Uh, we're very prepared. I've never met a coach that's been more prepared than Coach Lee. Um, these guys are all great students and we've got good kids in our program and i um, proud of what they've accomplished and just want to see uh, really get over that hump. We've won a conference championship. We've been in bowl games. Um, you know, we really like to get over that hump. It's tough in this conference because there's so many great players, so many great coaches, but you know, that's where our sights are set and, you know, where we're all rowing in the same direction.